JT, what do you guys talk about as players this morning, knowing that you guys want to elevate your game here? Um, you know, nothing really changes um, from a mentality standpoint. Um, we've I say it all the time, but we, we create a, try to create a standard around here, and we're not, we're not playing up to it. So I think it's a great situation for us that we get to play again today and have a chance to right the ship a little bit and just get ourselves going in the right direction and feeling good going into the playoffs versus kind of limping in and, you know, creating a little bit of bad habits here and there. But at the end of the day, just to a man, we all got to look ourselves in the mirror and play a little bit better, you know, like I said, to a man and try to hold ourselves to these staples and pillars that we've built all season long. When you guys get out to good starts, you've seen the damage that you can do. So what is the difference when you maybe don't have that kind of good start like last night? Yeah, you know, it's obviously a little more uncharted territory for us this year. We've done a really good job of starting on time and playing with a lot of leads. And, uh, um, you know, I, just, I didn't think our second and third were, you know, terrible. But at the same time, they're sitting on a three-goal lead pretty much the whole game. So, um, you know, we know the right way. And it's it's a very simple thing, you know, physicality and skating. And, you know, to a man, I think we play better. So there's a couple of things that I know that work for myself and I know that we're going to look to do this evening. As a leader, what do you say to the guys knowing how important with only a handful of games remaining? Well, we, we don't have a lot of, you know, a ton of playoff experience as a team. So I just think that you don't just turn it on when you get there. And, you know, you, you have to start feeling good about yourself going into them because those guys are going to be hungry no matter who we end up playing. And um, a lot of the teams we're going to see have, have been there lately. So um, we have this is why I think everybody we stress it so much now is we got, you know, seven games remaining to do the right things and really start to build again as a team and, you know, hit our stride, really be in full stride by the time we get there. It's really hard to just decide to, hey, I'm going to turn it on when the playoffs come. So, you know, it's just something I think all the guys that have been there, you know, we're trying to bring to a, on a daily basis. What is it that Arizona does particularly well that you need to be ready for tonight? Uh, you know, they work extremely hard. They're really physical. Um, you know, a team that if you're sleeping, you know, they're going to make you look bad. And they have some talented players that if you want to be cute and not go through people and not, uh, you know, take care of the puck, you know, they're going to make you pay. And they got a really good power play. So I think we just have to be, go back to, you know, just be ready to play. I mean, just don't overthink this as well. We've done a lot of good things this year. Just kind of just do what we've been working towards all year. Rick, I wonder what you guys talked about in the meeting. How do you kind of regroup here? With yeah. Yeah, I think the details, I think, um, you know, when things slip a little bit, you, you lose your details. You know, we talk about staples and our pillars around here. And anytime players, you know, we have some guys that are struggling. Um, and when you struggle, you got to get back to those, you know, those things, like the energy and your compete level, your attitude. All those things help you get out when you're struggling. So you got to bring that every night. Um, you know, we weren't ready to play against Vegas. You know, uh, we didn't play through people, and we threw a lot of pucks, hope plays. Um, we tried to get back in it, and then right after you score a goal, they would come back with an odd man rush. So uh, it's not our style of hockey. We can't play that way, and I think, it's the, I think the players know that. Um, you know, I'm pretty confident that they'll bounce back tonight. Do you get the sense that, that these individuals, you challenged them last night, and kind of called them out to say there are some guys that needs to just, need to step up. Do they get that, and, and do they come to you on a day like today and say, hey, how can I... Improve? Yeah, I, I think really the message, and I've talked to a couple of individuals, the start of the game, just pick a couple of things in your game to improve on. Like, if, you, if, you're, if you're going in a game, I've scored one goal in 30 games, and I'm, you know, I'm struggling to get my shot off. and I'm, Right away, you're thinking negative. I think if you go into a game, this is just my experience from telling players, is pick one thing. You know, if that's my man, I'm going to make sure I go through him. He's not going get, to get above me. Um, if I get the puck down low, if somebody's open, give it to him. If not, hold on to the puck. Don't throw it blind. If you just do those two things early in your game, it's amazing how all that positive and good stuff come from that. But if, you, if, you're, if you're looking at a negative, you know, I'm struggling and you start throwing whole plays and I, I lose my man because I don't go through him, then you're going to struggle even more. So I think it's more of the trying to give them the game plan, the blueprint, but then them, them actually, you know, applying it to their, to their game. What is it that Arizona does? Fast team, you know they're a very fast team. They got some forwards that can really zip the puck around, you know. So we're gonna have to make sure that we play a sticky game against them. I love your advice to Shilas the other day was to just go out and have fun. What's your advice here for the second game? Yeah, I mean he's, he looks very confident in the net. I was I really enjoyed watching him play against Anaheim. He looked big. Uh, the stage wasn't too big. 
Um, you know, he's playing a back-to-back game uh, for a team that, you know, we didn't like our efforts. So, you know, he's just got to go and, you know, he can't put the world on his shoulders. He's just got to go and do, do like he did against Anaheim and just be big and have fun.